Welcome to today's Wollongong Football Show News Blast. How you going, Jimmy? Yeah, good, mate. Good, mate. Uh, powered by the wonderful people at caravantshirts.com. But I'll let you do the honours, mate. Why don't you kick us oh, off with the Lots of results for the FFA Cup overnight. So uh, here we go. At my uh, junior ground, Corley Park, Russellvale, uh, who, who hosted the Tarawana Blueys versus Rydalmere Lions. Tarawana, four. Rydalmere, two. So wow. Good result for the Blueies. Great result. And uh, Bill Anderson Reserve, Wollongong United, they ran out 4 1 winners over Kemp's Creek United Soccer Club. Two out of two so far. Yeah. 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 And uh, and for me, probably the, the, the one that I look forward to the most, our mighty Wollongong Wolves, uh, had a good win at the Hensley Athletic Field over the Dunbar Rovers FC 2 uh, 1. So we progressed through uh, Wollongong Wolves. Very tough match there. Um, Ian McLennan Park, Winona Sharks, they ran out 3 1 winners over GHFC Spirit. Uh, quite a tough match for them, being a, a MPL League Two team. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, a, a great result for for the Sharks. Um, but also uh, another big result for one of our local teams in Coniston FC. Coniston FC six, West Ride Ravers FC nil. Wow, what a result! Yes, but uh, so far it sees seven out of nine local teams competing in the round of the FFA Cup go through to the next stage, and the South Coast Flame. They, uh, they round out this round of the FFA Cup for the local teams, taking on the Western Condors up at uh, Choppin Park. They'd be oh. looking for a little bit of a revenge there, I think, Jimmy, Absolutely. after their, uh, their playing them in the first round of the season so far. So a chance for them to get back at them straight away, I dare say. Yes, absolutely. All right, uh, moving on to the Hyundai A-League. The, the demolition of the Allianz Stadium is underway with critics pushing for the development watch. They just have to watch on, I guess. Uh, both north and south sides of the stadium are in debris while the roof is being taken down in the stages. Uh, a $730 million state-of-the-art stadium is planned to open in 2021, uh, accommodating 45,000 seats. It's a large development to for, what, 3,000 extra seats? Yes, wow. it's massive. Wow. Wow. Asian Champions League. Melbourne Victory have gone down in a whopping 4-0 defeat to uh, Gangju Evergrande uh, overnight, putting them out of the running for the of the group table. So uh, they'll have another group game, but they're finished. Yeah, they're uh, they're quite quite behind. And Sydney FC, they drew in an upset uh, against Shanghai SIPG last night. The Sky Blues, they were 3-2 up. And uh, Shanghai, they ended up grabbing a... A late equaliser, I think it was in the 90th minute or something like that. So Sydney now sit bottom of the group of the table sit, uh, on two points with uh, two draws. Oh, I suppose the positive in that, Jimmy, is that Sydney have had two home games. They haven't lost at home. Yeah. We need to pick something up away from home. Yeah, absolutely, need... absolutely. Champions League this morning, Barcelona, they've scrapped away with a victory over Manchester United uh, after winning 1-0 against the Red Devils. A 12th-minute own goal put the Spaniards in the lead. According to One Football's Twitter, uh, they've ripped in to Ashley Young for a shocking performance. I don't know, for those purists in the first 15 minutes of that game, it looked like it could have been a cricket score. Barcelona football was uh, was was pretty to watch, so uh, United, you know, 1-0 down. They can go away, have got nothing to lose um, back at the new Camp. Mm, OK, all right. Um, Ajax, they've drawn against Juventus, uh, one all this morning. The Dutch super team held a 64% possession rate throughout the game with goals to Cristiano Ronaldo and David Neres. Is that right, David Neres? Neres sounds all right to me, mate. Yeah, yeah. This marks the first time the two teams have played each other in the Champions League since 2004 with the, uh, the next game scheduled for the 17th of April. I think uh, the big winners out of this is the Dutch Giants Ajax because they, they were able to dominate possession. Uh, they, they didn't get the result for the domination, but they can, get, they can now, get, now go to Italy and feel rather confident. But Italians are the, are the best at the world at being able to sit back, absorb, 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 and they've got one of the best in the world or mm. ever in Ronaldo who's going to score. Yeah, well, so, I saw you know, us. The, the game is built for him at the moment for, in these away ties in these Champions League features. Yeah, well, I saw a graphic this morning uh, saying he scored like 41 goals in the Champions League and the closest player to him has scored only like 17 or 18 goals. Yeah. So it's a crazy feat for him. 
But uh, English Champions League overnight, Sheffield United, they've drawn against Birmingham City, uh, placing them one point behind Leeds in the automatic promotion spot. Norwich City have also drawn with Reading this morning, which is quite a shock. They hold a six-point lead at the top of the table. And Aston Villa, they trumped uh, Rotherham United this morning. Ten men come from behind. Like to see that. It's a, it's a, a big result for those, Jim, for those uh, who actually care about Aston Villa. <laughs> Do you want to take this story away then, mate? Uh, the MLS USA. In the MLS, a heavy loss to Los Angeles and a draw to Montreal has seen DC United fall to fifth place in the overall standings in the MLS. Uh, Columbus crew now take first spot in the Eastern Conference as Los Angeles remain number one in the Western Conference. Uh, just our final story this morning, uh, Pearl. In, uh, Tottenham Hotspurs manager Mauricio Pochettino has lashed out in a press conference about his fa fears on VAR uh, and and how it can damage the spirit of the game, which is interesting. After the game against Manchester City yesterday, the po uh, Pochettino asked, "Are we going to check everything? Is is this handball? Is this aggression?" Today there there were a lot of uh, actions to check. We're going to see di a different sport and not the one that we grew up watching. So the, the Premier League is looking to implement VAR, uh, the VAR technology uh, in the 2019 and 20 season. I've just got wrong response to that, Jimmy. The game is not the same as the one where we grew up watching as kids anyway. Uh, mm. With the amount of simulation that's going on today, um, I'm hopeful that VAR will, can correct a lot of the uh, incorrect decisions that have been awarded to uh, award penalties, uh, etc. Um, but also, um, there was an interesting moment in the Liverpool game this morning, uh, yesterday morning as well, where it looked like there could have been a, um, a VAR decision for a handball as well. So, as long as they're consistent and we get the right ruling, then I don't think that we can have an argument to anything mm. uh, in regards to the VAR. Let's hope it works for what it's intended to do. Yep, totally agree with that. Um, all right, mate. Well, that's that's all of the news for today. I really appreciate you coming into the studio for Great your second to be here. appearance. Thank you. And uh, if you're enjoying all of the news blasts uh, that, that have been coming out every single day, just make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the left-hand corner and we'll, uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Jimmy, guess what? What? The Caribbean t-shirts have they arrived. They have arrived. I only oh, ordered these. Nice. It's only five days ago. Maybe, oh, really? maybe less. Okay. Let's have a look. Open I up, mate. surprised you. You certainly did. I made the choice for Jimmy. Okay. Let's hope you got the right this one. This one's mine. Is that one yours? Straight this out of Compton? Mine. Straight out of. Yes, he's doing okay. That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> Jimmy, this is your. You have no, mine. I'll hold that one. You have mine. mine. Oh, it's blue. I like that. Oh, That's blue, mate. Oh, I know you That's like blue. blue. I know you like blue. Oh, what'd you get? Here we go. Here we go. This is Jimmy's. <laughs> oh. I love it. I love it. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's swap. All right. There you go. All right. We're going to throw them on. All right. Yep. Okay, let's do it. There we go, eh? Looking wow. good, mate. Right? Looking good. Look at that. Yeah. Caravan t-shirts. Yeah, if you had it. This has been a Podular Media Production.